Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. A question that comes back from time to time is how can we get the paneled bodysuit? So today we'll, we'll answer that question. So it's a set, the, it's a style that comes with only three pieces of style. There's the headpiece, the chest piece, and the pants. Don't look for a shoulders or belt or anything else. These three pieces are all there is. For quite some time, slimline styles have been a rare thing. So today I'm going to show you how you can get this style. I will give you the short answer and the long answer. So for the short answer, you have to play the tier 2 duos from the on-duty menu. So you can see there's the Gotham Hospital, there's the Riverfront Center, and there's the Riverside Hotel. Now you have to be minimum combat rating 43 in order to be able to play those missions. So as you can see, those are tier 2 missions. So the panel bodysuit style comes from those three missions. Sadly, it is a random drop. So the odds of getting the style, you, ha you will have to play and replay and replay the missions over and over until you actually do get the styles. It's been a while since I had to cure for those missions. So if somehow you cure for those missions and nothing happens, let's go for the long answer. So for the long answer, we're going to start at the Diamond District Gotham Police Station. Uh, because obviously, if you... If you are inexperienced players, you already know this, so odds are you're not watching this video. So odds are if you are watching this video and don't know how to get the suit, then we're going to show you the long way around to make sure that you know what to do. So there are portals that give you, give you access to the three missions. So we are, we are going to start at the Gotham East End Police Station. Uh, let's even show you the map to, just to be safe. So you can see where we are in the minimap. We are going to go to South Gotham. So you see here, we have the Riverfront Center, we have the Gotham Hospital, and we have the Riverside Hotel. So these are the three missions you have to play in order to be able to get the style. So let's get this party started. So we'll take the long way around just to make sure that everyone understand where they have to go in order to be able to enter the portal. Again, the reason why I'm showing you the long way around, odds are some of you guys are new players to DCO. Uh, some of you guys may be new subscribers also. We're close to 15,000 subscribers as I record this. So you will see there are um, a bit of, sometimes you'll see NPCs close to the portals. The NPCs around here are combat rating 56. So if you're a low level player, uh, you should be a bit careful. Although if you are a low level player, uh, you, you won't be able to see, to be able to enter this portal until you reach combat rating 43 anyways. So let's enter the portal. So this is the first of three missions. We are going to have to use this portal here. There is another portal that brings us back to Gotham. I, I'm showing you the portal because uh, many, many, many times I saw people who went through the wrong portal. You'd be surprised how many times that happened. Uh, if somebody need to repair, there's our old friend repair bot here. Actually, we did. So let's enter the mission. So this is the first of three missions, and there are various objectives to be able to play those missions. Uh, this one, insert battery into each turret. Uh, I thought I could skip a few things in this mission, but uh, sadly, it seems we, we can't really. So the first thing I would suggest, clear out enemies. Uh, you should be able to start playing this mission solo. Uh, at least at combat rating 70, probably even before that. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly because it depends on the power you play. If you play, let's say, a, an Earth tank, uh, you can solo missions a lot earlier than if you play, uh, let's say, a gadget uh, DPS. There's a whole bunch of other objectives, but they have to do... It. Basically, there's a, a randomness to those objectives. Sometimes you have to explode the mines. Sometimes you have to free the civilians from the pods. So there's quite a few different objectives you can get from those missions. So basically we're going to play pretty much in this area. So let, let's try to clear out the enemies at least around there. There's this thing we're going to need. And there's that other thing over there we're going to need. So in the case of this version of the mission, I don't know if you see there's like a little white dot on the minimap. We're going to go right there. So you see we have to pick up that thingy over here. So let us do that. 
and we have to bring it all the way over here. So once we bring it here, it will activate a little laser. Nah, we don't see it anymore. So we have to bring the thingy, then activate it. And normally the turret would be firing at the portal over there. And sadly nowadays, I'm not sure why, we no longer have the animation for the turret. So basically right now, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies that will spawn and spawn and spawn. So we have to clear out the enemies. If you're high level, it's not really an issue. If you're low level, uh, th that's why basically I wanted to clear out the enemies that were in the map first. If you're a low level player, you don't want to be able to fighting. You don't want to fight the enemies uh, from the portal and the enemies uh, from the map at the same time. So I would strongly suggest if you're somewhat low level player, like if you if you try to play this mission that let's say combat rating get 50, uh, you should make sure to clear out the whole map first and then activate the portal so you don't want to end up fighting the enemies from the portals and the enemies on the map at the same time right now i'm combat rating 316 doesn't matter i can take them all quickly enough although we can see the turret it still took a bit of damage if you have uh oh, actually we don't see the damage anymore oh yeah there it is if you have a supply drop Oh, wrong with thing. You could try to heal uh, the turret, I think. Yeah, it actually works. So you could use your supply drop to heal, heal the turret if you really need to. So you can see there's a timer, 45, 46, 47. So we have to hold on, we have to protect the turret until we reach 100. So at this point, all we really need to do, wait for the enemies to spawn, and then defeat them. Oh, let's summon a little motor box, because why not? So we're at 783, 784. Eighty one, eighty two, almost there. Stay on target. Three, ninety-four. 94 no our cube is gone I'm so sad our mother box is gone so there we go so we've we've protected the first uh, turret so again there are also different objectives it's not always the same objective sometimes you have to free the civilians you could decide also to click on the civilians even if it's not your main objectives because there are various feats with those missions uh, basically if you're uh, even uh, when you're a higher level player you may have to come back and play those missions to complete some of the feats uh, let's take a look at the, those feats so this comes from the battle of the from the earth uh, missions and uh, as you can see we have to complete 99 battle of the earth duos i'm barely at 78 uh, once in a while i'll come back and play those missions but i don't i don't do that uh, often enough so you'll see here you have uh, various feats uh, free to save 250 civilians uh, that's what we just did there's uh, some bombs that uh, if we click uh, we have to detonate uh, 250 bombs and you have to destroy 250 viral pods so these here were the civilians uh, there was a bomb could have sworn there was a bomb right here oh there's one right there so there are bombs like this that also you can you can click on so you should click on those even if it's not your main objective. 
And I don't see any viral pods uh, just yet, but uh, we will uh, we'll see plenty of pods in the other missions, so it's not really a big issue. I think, uh, so the other objective we need should be way up here, if we see the white dot. Like you can second the white dot on the minimap, so this is what we need for the second turret. So we're going to do the very same thing, we're going to have to protect the turret. Again, there used to be like a, a beam of light that would come from here to there. I'm not sure if the beam of light was trying to destroy the portal or if it was what was uh, keeping the portal open. It uh, doesn't really matter. So let's activate our second turret. And again, you can see the timer 0 to 100. So let us protect cable B while we can. And again, as you can see, we've pretty much cleared out cleared out most of the enemies uh, in the open world on the map. Uh, there's a couple left uh, for some reasons. So we can now focus only on the enemies coming out of the portal. Again, at combat rating 316, doesn't matter. But if you try to play this mission at low level, at, at least lower level, uh, you may want to have uh, as few enemies as possible. Here you can see the turret is uh, not really damaged. So we should be able to keep it like that. Again, worst comes to worst, you could use your supply drop to heal your turret if you need to. So thanks to the power of editing, we were able to skip ahead a bit. And basically all we did was the same thing as the first turret. We defeated the enemies as soon as they exited the portal. So almost there, stay on target. So again, once we reach 100, now we complete the turret, and now it summons a Brainiac Guardian. For the Guardian, don't go crazy. If you, Especially if you're a high level player, don't go crazy and go all out on the Guardian. Uh, you, you're going to glitch it. I often see that sometimes there's a, there's players who are, in, or who are in such a hurry to defeat the Guardians, or even uh, defeat uh, bosses in various missions, that they'll go all out they'll kill the, the boss too quick and they'll end up glitching the mission. Uh, sadly, some of those, those bosses were not designed to be killed in like uh, two seconds. So if you do that with a, a character that's too high level, you may end up defeating them way too quickly. One thing I, su I suspect, uh, one thing I suggest is just summon your summons. Usually your summons will do a good, geno a good enough job to be able to, to defeat it. So sadly, we did not get the paneled bodysuit as a reward. Uh, basically, you're going to be able to choose your reward. One of the rewards, if you're lucky, will be some of the paneled bodysuit style. Uh, there's also the the medieval style that you can get here. Uh, I think you can get it only for a healer. I might be mistaken. So let's choose a healer style, even if we can't really use it. And also you get a weekly reward. Way back when, at some point, they made it so that missions would give us a weekly rewards to give us a reason to run them at least once a week. So for the, the shoulders, uh, we're going to sell them or salvage them, I'm not sure just yet. And let's take a look at our weekly reward. Uh, black uh, classic dining table and chair, oh well. And also it gives us some uh, prestige, so let's consume it. So again, you don't want to defeat the boss too quickly, you don't want to glitch it. So let's get out of here and let's go towards the next mission. And again, if you need to, there's a little robot here to be able to repair. I'm a bit more damaged than I thought. And now let's get out of this mission. And again, be careful which uh, portal you use. Maybe it may seem self-evident, but uh, I've seen a lot of players who use the wrong portal. Happens all the time. So again, we've played uh, this first mission. Uh, let's show where we are in the map. So you can see we're pretty much just on the edge of uh, South Gotham. So now we're going to go to the next, uh, the next portal. Again, let's take a long, long way around, just to make sure that people understand where it is that we're going. Let's 
Sometimes you'll see again enemies at the portal. You can decide to defeat them, or you just uh, you could just hurry up and enter the portal. So again, you can see the same setup. There's one portal to bring you back to Gotham. There's the other portal to bring you to the map. I know it may seem annoying that I insist on that, but I've seen way too many people take the wrong portal. Especially if you if you play solo, it doesn't matter. You just re-enter and you continue. But if you play the, the mission as a duo and you end up uh, using the wrong portal, it can mess up things a bit. So here we are going to have to free the captive civilians. I showed you a bit what the civilians look like earlier. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's free our first civilian. So we have to do that 10 times. Uh, I'm going to use the power of editing to skip ahead a bit, but basically you have to, you just have to fly around the map and uh, free the 10 civilians. I showed you the feat uh, to destroy the 250 viral pods, and this is what the viral pods look like. So basically it's a pod, when you destroy it, there's usually a whole bunch of uh, critters inside the pod. So this was the viral pod. So once you free the 10th captive, it will summon another guardian. So again, make sure not to defeat the Guardian too quickly. And there's also turrets that will be attacking you. You could decide to uh, disarm the turrets if you want to. Or you could decide to just focus on the Guardian. Again, I'm going to use... Uh, oh, let's use our motor box this time. And let's see what choices we have. So military tech, shaman, mystic couch. Now let's go for the couch. And also we'll get a weekly award. So again, as you saw, no panel bodysuit, uh, sadly. I have no idea how rare it is. Uh, it's been a long time since I got the style, so I don't know if uh, I don't know if I had to run the mission uh, five times, ten times, a thousand times to be able to get the style. But at the end of the day, there's no miracles. You have to run the mission until you're lucky enough to get the style as a random drop. So let's get out of here. So now let's go towards the third mission. Uh, let's see if we need to repair. Oh, let's uh, get rid of those old buggers. And let's get out of here. So again, if we look in the minimap, or on the map, I should say. So this is where we are, and we're going to go down here for the, uh, the Riverside Hotel. At first, uh, the map seems uh, pretty big, so I understand if you kind of get lost at first or kind of get a bit confused. But after a while, we kind of get used to the map, and it, uh, it becomes not so big uh, once you get used to it. So you can see the portal way back where. So this is the, the third uh, bottle we're going to enter into, the Riverside Hotel. Brainiac is using those capsules to convert people into his slaves. You have to release them from those conversion vessels before it's too late. So again, same setup as you enter. This will bring you back to Gotham. So let's go into inside the hotel. And you still have your robot at the at the entrance as well. So here we're going to have to free civilians again. It can happen that you get uh, twice the same thing in a row. It happens. So let's get this party started. So let's free our old friend here. So again, let's use the power of editing and let's uh, let us uh, skip ahead. So again, once we free the last civilian, it will summon a guardian. Mm -hmm. 
For this Guardian, you have to be extra careful. You have to defeat him in two steps. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I actually fight him. So let us summon, uh, let us summon our summons. And we will let them uh, do the, the deed. So at some point you see him, he, he goes into some sort of shield like that. And then you get a whole bunch of uh, tiny critters that will attack you. So as you saw, he transforms into something else after defeating once. Actually, we can let all uh, Elder's God uh, do the, the deed. And there you go. So you don't want to defeat him uh, too quickly, especially with that first pass. Uh, sadly, we did. Oh, uh, oh, okay. We did get the. So you can see we can get the dagger point bodysuit. We can get the paneled bodysuit. Now uh, let's go for the occult dining table. And before I forget, the bodysuit does support an emblem. So if you want to wear an emblem with your suit, you have the option to do so. I've seen a lot of people uh, recreate uh, the future Flash using the suit, or even Flash from the CW TV show. I've seen people recreate Archangel using that suit, and probably a few others that I fail to recall. Uh, the God, uh, what was it called, the Bat God, when Batman was like uh, replacing Metron, riding the Mobius chair. So it's a nice uh, slimline suit, and sadly we don't get enough uh, slimline in this universe online. I'm not sure why they keep on giving us uh, bulky armors, and they don't seem to like uh, giving us uh, slimline suits very much. Uh, we do get some slimline, slimline suits, but it's it's a once in a while occasion. And there you go. So that is how you can get the paneled bodysuit style. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly two thousand videos about this universe online at this point. So if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.